Ten trivia about Italy. Number one, Italy is the country with the largest number of the world heritage sites. As of 2018, Italy is the number one country in the world with a world heritage number, with as many as 54 countries. China ranks second with 53 items of inheritance. Although China has an advantage in its long history and vast territory, Italy also has profound historical and cultural connotations. Because many of Italy's buildings and sites are mostly stone, they can be preserved to this day. Number two, Stendhal syndrome comes from Italy. Typical symptoms of Stendhal syndrome are a repeat heartbeat, dizziness, syncope, confusion, and even hallucinations. The typical cause is that people suddenly see celebrities or spectacular scenery is too excited. This symptom first appeared in many people when they saw many beautiful works of art and architecture in Florence, Italy. Number three, the birthplace of Italian Fashion Week, not Milan but Florence. In 1951, an Italian businessman named Giovanni Battista Giorgini hosted the first fashion show in Italy at the Sala Bianca show in Florence. It was this catwalk that made Italy on the world stage for the first time. It was not until 1970 that Milan took over the fashionable hangover bar from Florence. Number four. Italian drink coffee is very particular. For native Italians, only pure espresso black coffee can be called coffee, and coffee with milk and sugar can only be called coffee drinks. Italians only drink coffee with milk for breakfast. It is said that the founder of Starbucks originally drank espresso in Italy, which led to the idea of opening a coffee shop. It was not until September 6, 2018, that Starbucks finally opened a store in Italy. Number five, Italian fans are called divorcee, meaning typhus patients. Everyone knows that Italians love football and are famous all over the world, but few people know that in Italy, football fans are called divorcee. And divorcee originally meant typhus patients, because in the eyes of many Italians, some fans' fanaticism is the same as that of some ancient irrational patients before death. Just use this to describe the fanaticism of football fans, and there is no meaning of derogatory. Number six, if it weren't for Italy, we might still wear custom clothing. In fact, before the start of World War II, custom clothing was the mainstream of the global fashion industry. It is a garment that is tailored to the wearer's personal circumstances and made in one piece. But Italian designers have another idea, turning their attention to the ready-to-wear garments we wear today. It refers to finished garments produced in batches according to certain specification and type standards. In 1970, Italy officially bid farewell to the area of custom clothing. Finished clothing such as jackets, jeans, jumpsuits, mini skirts, and hot pants have become mainstream products. Number seven, pasta is the most popular food in the world. I don't believe any Western restaurant has no pasta. There are at least 500 sauces and combinations of pasta. Its origin was in ancient Rome. Rome has a large population, but the food is not enough. Many poor people have to cook noodles and eat them with a random sauce. Later, its deliciousness has made it impossible for all classes to resist, and the pasta has spread. After hundreds of years of improvement. 
Until now, you have a year of authentic pasta in Italy without any repeating taste. Number eight, in many parts of Italy, it is changing since we since. Although Italy uses the euro, many times they do not use the currency. In some stores, if you buy something in some stores, the store will not give you the rest of the change, but will replace it with the same price commodity. When you go to buy a cigarette, the merchant may exchange the change for a few good-looking stamps for you. When you go to eat, the merchant may change the change into several albums for you. This is also a way for local people to express their friendship. If you encounter such a thing, you need to express your gratitude. Number nine, life in southern Italy is more casual, and life in the north is faster. The attitudes of southern and northern Italians towards life are quite different, which is related to their history. Historically, northern Italy has been occupied many times by Austria, Switzerland, and France. The southern part of Italy is deeply influenced by Spanish and Arab cultures, and the historical background is very different. Southern Italians are very cheerful. They always put their work on the second place. They are most interested in drinking, gathering, singing, and dancing, and they admire the close feelings with the family. The Italians in the north are eager to go forward, work hard, and the people are also measured and organized. Most of the professional women in the north have the idea of equality between men and women. Number ten, Italy was one of the first countries to participate in the International Olympic Games. Two of the founding members of the International Olympic Committee are Italian. In addition to the decline in performance in the 1970s, the Italian teams has almost always ranked in the top ten in Olympic Games. As of the 2018 Winter Olympics. Italy won a total of the 246 gold medals, 240 silver medals, 241 bronze medals. A total have a 701 medals.